Good morning, Pioneers. It's that time again with WPKN live gazing information for the day for the Media Center. Today is Thursday, May 20th, 2021. I'm Juliana Salabrera. Now let's all stand and join Lee Jamel for the Pledge of Allegiance. Lee Jamel. Good morning, Pioneers. Please stand for the Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now you may be seated. Now back to our anchor. Well done, Lee Jamal. Now let's join Andrea, who's in the WPKN weather studio for a check on the weather. Andrea? Good morning, Pioneers. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with a... 14% chance of rain. The wind will be blowing east at 18 miles per hour. The high today will be 87 with a low of 64. Have a great day. Now back to our anchor. Thank you, Andrea, for the information and weather update. For lunch today, our incredible Romeo chefs are preparing for us a choice of general tanky chicken, potato, and fresh fruits. Don't forget your choice of milk. Now here's Ms. Parker with Ms. Williams with today's Pioneer Minutes. Good morning, Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ms. Williams. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ms. Parker. Whew. It is going to be a hot day today. Good morning, Ms. Williams. We have some celebrations today for buses. Everybody up on the board today. This is day three in a row. Four. Four days in a row. Absolutely. Hey, 3037, 3031, 3026, 3025, 3024, 3029, 3005, and 3035. Fantastic. Boys and girls, one more day. Let's do it. So proud of all of you. Once again, boys and girls, we are going to continue to work hard because we are still learning. You know, I was in third grade classrooms yesterday, Mrs. Williams, so incredibly impressed with the hard work that those teachers and students are still doing, making sure they're mastering those standards and getting better. I read with some third grade students. It was the highlight of my day. So you guys keep up that hard work. I am incredibly proud of you. And um, it starts with wanting to be your best. Miss Williams, we have some makeup testing today? We do. We have some makeup. We have math and science makeups today. So once again, boys and girls, look for those signs. If you are one of those students uh, doing your test today, take a deep breath. Do your best. You can do this. All right, I have some reflex celebrations today, starting in Miss Alexander's class, with Justin Jones, who has 2,000 total facts solved. Martin Palomo, 70% fluent. Uh, Yanzi Figueroa Kano, 3,000 3, total facts solved. Isabella Maya, 3,000 total facts solved. Ileana Al Alexander, 10 total green light days. Julia Bleckinger, you are 60% fluent. Carver Morley, 5,000 total facts solved. Aaliyah Morse, two, oopsie, let me try that again. Aaliyah has 100 new fluent facts. Oh, you have to have that really probably. Jaden Miranda, 3,000 total facts solved. Abigail Henson, 5,000 total facts solved. Liam Ortiz, 80% fluent. Gianna Delson, 5,000 total facts solved. Liam Morrison, 3,000 total facts solved. Stephen Mariquin Florian, 4,000 total facts solved. Lily Tate, these are coming on Ms. Connor's class. I switched in the middle there, guys. Lily Tate has 3,000 total facts solved. Zena Fender has 3,000 total facts solved. Isaiah Labile, 3,000 total facts solved. Haley Holcomb, 3,000 total facts solved. Logan Lanford, 3,000 total facts solved. <laughs> and Fabian Villanova. 20 total green light days. And last but certainly not least, Isabel Weaver, 7,500 facts solved. Great job, boys and girls. Love those re reflex celebrations, mostly because they have to do with learning. And I'm proud of you guys for continuing the learning. You're doing a great job. Teachers, if you teach kindergarten first, 
third or fourth grade during planning today. We're going to meet in Miss Parker's office to um, celebrate uh, to put together those pink and blue cards. So please make sure if you teach kindergarten, first, third, or fourth grade during your planning, you're going to meet me in my office, and we will go through our pink and blue cards. Miss William, do you have any more announcements this morning? Boys and girls, I just want to. Uh, build on what Miss Parker said. Remember, we have five more days to get bigger, faster, stronger, and smarter. Put, for, put your best foot forward today. We have a special celebration on Friday. I would be um, wrong if I didn't remind you that our fifth graders have their graduation parade Friday night through the city of Dinellan, the parade for those of you who are going to be spectators, which means you're going to be watching the parade, starts at six o'clock. But if you are a fifth grader, you wanna make sure that you get to Dinellan High School by 5.30 so we can give you your graduation medals and certificates. Line up for the parade and get the ball rolling. Remember, traffic laws do apply, which means you cannot ride in the back of a truck and you cannot ride on a flatbed trailer because that's against the law and the police will not let us do that. So let's make sure we're there at Denolan High School. We're gonna have a great time celebrating you amazing fifth graders. Miss Williams, are we ready for some words and wisdom you think? I'm ready. All right. Did you know that Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts have special rules they live by? One of those rules is being well-mannered. The Scout law says good manners make it easier for people to get along. In other words, Scouts believe that when people are polite to each other, they get along better. Why? Because we, when we are being well-mannered, we are being respectful. We don't hurt each other's feelings. We say please and thank you. We share with others. We let others go first, and we take turns. What do you think? Do you think if everyone had good manners, people would get along better? Today, follow the Scout Law and use your very best manners. It's a good rule for living. On this thoughtful Thursday, it's Mrs. Parker and Mrs. Williams. We want you to have a great day. You can make it happen. The choice is yours. Mrs. Williams, well, it's all for today, Pioneers. Thanks for watching WPKN this morning. Be sure to join us again tomorrow for the news that kids can count on to start their day. I'm Juliana Silver. Until next time, see you later. Bye for now. <laughs>